This is the fastest turbo prop in the world. And this is the part that's going to give us a walk around. Oh, whoa. Captain B Snappy here. Oh, wow. Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Emma McDonald, and she's the pilot of this Ferrari of the skies. Hey, Emma. How you going? But it's actually as quick as a private jet. What's it like flying such a beast? Oh, it's amazing. So this aeroplane, we can go up to 41,000 feet and we cruise around the 385 uh, knot mark. So it's actually quite a quick aeroplane. It's the fastest yeah. turboprop in the world. One of the key features of this plane is the wing at the front. Tell us what this does. Yeah, so this is, a, they call it a forward wing. A lot of people yeah. try and call it a canard, but it's actually a forward wing um, and it has a flap. On the, yeah. on the front as well. So it actually deploys at the same time that the other flaps on the main wing deploy. This is a flying surface, so this is helping create the lift on the airplane. So another um, aspect of the front wing is it's actually a really cool safety feature. When we stall the airplane, it's, this wing is designed to stall first before oh. the, the back wing. This wing stalls first, all we do is we get a head nod and the airplane will just do this the entire time and it won't actually get into a developed stall. So MHR actually stands for Matt Hall Racing. And Emma is part of the Matt Hall Racing team. Not only does she pilot this, but she's actually an aerobatics pilot too. This is facing backwards. What's this system called? So they're known as a pusher prop or pusher configuration. So they're actually sucking air into the blades, getting yeah. all the thrust is being pushed backwards without obstruction. So does that help the noise inside the cabin of the aircraft? It certainly does. When you're sitting yeah. inside, it, it sounds like you're riding on a jet. Is there any exhaust fumes that get onto the propeller? They certainly get onto the propeller and we do have to clean the props after every flight. Oh. But it does serve a purpose for us. So we don't have anti-icing on our propellers yeah. because the exhaust does it naturally. Oh yeah. So yeah, the yeah. exhaust heats our propeller and melts yeah. off any ice if we're going to icing conditions. Italian design, they just think of everything. So what's this design right here? Yeah, so this helps keep the, ta the tail stable, also creates lift. This yeah. is especially for when we're flying at high altitudes, it keeps us stable. Yeah. So see this gap right here in the wing? It's actually a really unique design. It'll extend out. This will stay the same and there's no gaps up the top. So there's no air escaping, especially when it's sitting um, in its upright position. There's no air getting through the wing. So we can also accept pressure refueling so we can um, connect up to a truck and they plug it in and they just pressure refuel rather than using a handle. But we yeah. have the ability to do that. The landing technique of this aeroplane is completely different to every other aeroplane I've flown. There's, yeah. there's no flare in landing this aeroplane. You actually got to put it down on the deck and you've got to push forward, which oh. is very different yeah. to what you would normally do in any other aeroplane. So why do you push forward? Because when we get into ground effect, just as we, as we flare and we get into the ground effect, the front wing wants to start flying and we'll actually oh. float the entire way down the end of the runway yeah, yeah. and not actually touch down. So it holds plenty of luggage too. Look how slick it is. Emma, can we get a look inside? Sure we can. Yeah. What? It's so nice in here. I've always wanted to go on a private jet. You can just smell the leather. You can just feel the quality. So we've actually got a full aisle here. Yeah. Where on most private jets, you don't have that. So it's a very wide cabin. I can't actually touch the sides and we can stand up inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> really comfortable. It's a bit fancy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's the typical guest on one of these? Uh, so we have many guests. So um, a lot of people that own big companies generally come on board. So a lot of yeah. corporates, famous people. We've had a couple of famous people on board as well. Um, yeah, it depends if, if you want to go on a holiday and you want to get yeah. there fast, it's still affordable for, for the normal family as well. They even got a toilet on board. So what's the range in this? How far can I fly? Depending on how many people we have on board, we can get around the 1200 nautical mile mark. So that's most of the way around the other side of Australia. The seats are pretty cool. They all move oh, around. Wow. I can edit my YouTube videos right here. So how many seats do we have in total? So we've got 10 seats in total, yep. two pilot seats, but we only need one pilot to fly this. So oh, technically wow. we can good. have a passenger in the right hand seat as well. There's so. always someone that puts a hand up for the passenger yeah, seat yeah. <laughs> Captain B Snappy here. In the car, it's just a turn of a key to start it. Where's the start one on here? We've got a number of start switches on this one. Oh, <laughs> start okay. sequence that's going to yeah. go in order. Oh. We've got a lot of switches here that are um, our engine switches, which have to be in the right position for us to start it. Emma, online, I've seen this plane go inverted. As an aerobatics pilot, do you ever get tempted to do that? 
<laughs> Especially because they've proven this aeroplane can do it. Yeah. It is tempting, but we said this aeroplane's not um, authorised for aerobatics. It's capable of doing the loops and barrel rolls, no problems at all. If you want to see what the screens look like, you can flip the black switch on. Okay. Oh, whoa. So we'll get, end up getting this screen come up. This is our engine screen. So this is all our engine parameters up here for number one and number two. So this is the main screen you're looking at during the takeoff process? That's correct, yeah. We're wanting to make sure our engines are making all the power that they need and we're not over temping our, our engines either. If you want to flick this one all the way to the forward position. Okay. There you go. That's going to bring online the other screens. That's all our information there for our height, speeds, direction, heading. It's a bit like a spaceship, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> We also got terrain avoidance, so we can set a radar up and see where terrain is, so you can actually see where the hills are. So, which one's the horn here? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a horn. I wish we had one. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our GPS. Yeah. So that's where we plug in our flight plans, we plug in our fuel, um, our our weight as well, and it tells us what our weight's going to be, what our fuel load's going to be, and how we get to where we want to be. Also down here is. Um, our trim setting. So we've got electric trim setting. There's no manual trim on this aeroplane, which is oh. something also very different. You've always yeah. got a, trim an electric wall. trim or and a manual trim yeah. wheel. Autopilot and all our settings are all up here. Can we talk about the worst case scenario? The engine fails and you have to just glide. So we've got two, two engines. So if we yeah. have a single engine failure, this aeroplane will fly really, really well on one engine. Yeah. So we, we can get to our destination no problem on one engine, um, even at high altitude. So this will hold our, in the 30s, no problem at all on one engine. Um, if we lose both engines, the glide on this is relatively okay. Um, in comparison to other jets, it's actually quite good. So tell us about your role at Matt Hall Racing and what do you guys offer? We offer joy flights where we can take people for an aerobatic experience around Lake Macquarie. Yeah. And that's where we can take you up to 8G so you can experience oh, wow. 8 times your body weight. We'll uh, take you through loops, barrel rolls, tumbles, so we'll actually throw the plane end over end, which is oh, quite wow. cool. Yeah. And you've also got the corporate jet side of things. How does this work? Yeah, so um, on the weekends I'm flying aerobatics or doing displays and then yeah. during the week we're flying uh, the corporate aircraft. So how do viewers get in contact with you? Yeah, so you can jump on our website, matthallracing.com and we've yeah. got everything there from our corporate events being displays, um, keynote talking, so Matt does a lot of keynote talks. Also myself and Nathan also do them yeah. as well. You can do the charter, you can do the um, aerobatic experience, we've got a lot of options there. Thanks so much for showing us around. No problem, thank you very much for having me. Thanks Emma. Too easy. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe because it helps my channel get spread to other people.